the notes of the open string on guitar. Boy, I am truly embarrassed to tell you how long it was into my guitar journey before I finally memorized these with instantaneous recall. Fret drills. Guitar app. Where you go to drill the patterns of the fretboard into your memory. Where you learn by playing games on your mobile device or interactively with your guitar. C. A. So, how will fret drills help you? Let's click the Apps button to head over to the interactive table of contents. Scrolling down, we see the actual table of contents. Memorizing the notes of the fretboard is the first chapter. This lesson is here, Notes of the Open Strings. All right, let's click the link and jump into the lesson page. Here, you see what you're being quizzed on. The first thing that I would do is select a bookmark interval of 1D for every day as this is a new lesson to you. You will assign the repeat interval for each lesson page according to their memorization needs. When you click Apps to return to the interactive table of contents, it will tell you if you have lesson pages that are overdue. You can also sort by the date last played, among other parameters. This is one of the ways to use fret drills to hold you accountable. So, what kind of musical perspective could help you out while you're trying to learn the notes of the open strings? Scrolling down, you'll see a figure which represents what I want you to think about in the back of your mind while you're doing the lesson. In music theory, there's something called the circle of fifths, and if you traverse the circle in the opposite direction, it is the circle of fourths. I don't even want you to consider the implication for these in theory. Just be aware that they exist. Now, consider that your guitar is tuned to fourths, except for the B string. So, this circle of fourth sequence can be found all over the guitar neck, keeping in mind the need to shift for the B string and wrap around the neck for the E strings. For example, B, E, A, D, shift, G, C, wrap, C, F. The sequence is also found for the open strings. B, E, wrap, E, A, D, G, shift, C, F. Okay, I get the yellow arrows then, but what about this red arrow? Consider if your guitar had an extra string below the E string, keeping the same tuning regime. Then you would have an imaginary B down here. I point this out because the B, E, A, D sequence is memorable since it spells a real word. To remember the whole sequence, start with the word bead, then remember GCF as good catch Fido. A quick comment regarding the path that you should take through fret drills. Upon completion of the essentials, you should begin doing some work in parallel. Along one path, you will continue learning the rest of the notes of the fretboard. In parallel, start the chord progressions chapter. Down here is what the YouTube algorithm thinks you want to watch. Tell me, were they right? Scroll down to the video description and I'll have some other options for your viewing pleasure.